hello student welcome to my channel learn more math uh, today we are going to learn about construction uh, see here what he is asking uh, construction division of a line segment uh, draw a line segment of length 7.2 centimeters and uh, divide it in the ratio 5 is to 3 and uh, measure the two parts so he is asking to divide the given line segment in the ratio 5 is to 3 so see here how can we uh, divide a given line segment so first we have to draw a line segment of length 7.2 centimeters so draw up to 7.2 centimeters and identify the end points of the line segment name it is as capital a and capital b so this is the line segment a b so the length of the line segment AB is 7.2 centimeters. How much it is? 7.2 centimeters. So now we have to draw array AX. So now we have to draw array AX such that it should make an acute angle with the line segment AB. So see here how can we draw the array AX. So see here. I am drawing the ray AX. So, draw a ray AX. So, here the condition is angle BAX is an acute angle. Angle BAX is an acute angle. So, since the given a ratio is 5 is to 3, so now we have to add the sum of uh, uh, antecedent and the consequent. Uh, sum of the parts is 5 plus 3 is 8. So now we have to divide this ray AX into 8 uh, uh, equal. Uh, we have to identify 8 equal points on the ray AX. So with the help of the compass, uh, by taking with uh, with the help of the compass, uh, by taking with fixed radius uh, and uh, uh, so with A as center with fixed radius we have to draw an arc uh, label it is as A1 and uh, with the same radius we have to draw one more arc uh, and uh, identify the point of intersection as A2 so again with A2 as a center draw one more arc here the radius is the same that you have to remember student uh, now the point of intersection identify as A3 so now again with a3 as a center draw one more arc again now the point of intersection identify as a4 so like this we have to draw up to a8 since the uh, sum of the parts in the given ratio is 8 we have to draw 8 arcs like this so with equal radius so next with a5 as a center draw one more arc so identify the intersection point as a6 so next a6 is center with the same radius draw one more arc and identify the point of intersection as a7 so next with a7 as a center with the same radius draw one more arc and uh, identify the point of intersection as a8 so student why we have drawn 8 so here since the sum of the uh, parts in the ratio is 8 uh, so now join a8 and b with the help of the scale join a8 and b so now we have to draw a parallel line to a8 b from the point a5 so why since the uh, given ratio is 5 is to 3 the numerator is 5 or the antecedent is 5 hence we have to draw a parallel line so for that uh, with some radius uh, uh, draw an arc with some fixed radius uh, draw an arc that should cut the uh, both the lines uh, a a a8 and a to b so it should cut so identify the points of intersection again with the same radius with a5 as center draw one more arc so again identify as uh, the point of intersection 
so now measure the length of the first arc with the help of compass by taking the radius the length of the first arc see here how can we take the radius oh, here we have to draw a parallel line from a point a5 so for that so here i have drawn a parallel line so here a5 the parallel line. so here i have drawn a line passing through a5 and the point of intersection so here the line intersects the line the intersects the line ab at the point c so now uh, it has been divided into two parts ac and cb so the length of ac is 4.5 centimeters and the length of cb is 2.7 centimeters 2.7 centimeters so now uh, we have to justify how can we justify see here with the help of uh, tails theorem uh, we can justify so see here a justification uh, in triangle a a8 b a5c is parallel to a8 b so therefore as per tails theorem we can write a c is to c b is equal to a a 5 is to a 5 a 8 so using tails theorem we can write a c by c b is equal to a a 5 by a 5 a 8 so here a c is to c b is equal to 5 is to 3 so since a a 5 is 5 units and a 5 a 8 is 3 units so it is very clear uh, so from the figure so here ac is equal to 4.5 centimeters cb equal to 2.7 centimeters so now we have to write the steps of construction how we have constructed so first one drawn a line segment ab is equal to 7.2 centimeters so next second drawn a ray ax such that angle bax is an acute angle uh, this is second step next uh, third step so see here uh, uh, what is the third step identified eight equal points on the ray ax uh, such that a a1 is equal to a1 a2 is equal to and so on up to a7 a8 a7 a8 so next uh, fourth one joined a8 b and drawn a parallel line from a8 to b uh, jo drawn uh, sorry joined a8 to b and drawn a parallel line to a8 to b from the point a5 which intersects the line ab at the point c uh, which intersects the line ab at the point c so now ab is divided into two parts ac and cb so ac is to cb is equal to 5 is to 3 so uh, this these are the steps of construction so like this uh, we can divide a given line segment in the given ratio using tails theorem so that's all today's class student uh, we will meet in the next class uh, uh, with uh, another construction okay thanks for watching